Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today we're in Atlantic City. We're going to take a nice stroll along the Atlantic City boardwalk in the middle of the winter. But before we do anything, we're going to stop off at the Gilcrest Diner at the Tropicana. It's an iconic diner known for their pancakes. Now the Gilcrest is located in the Chelsea Tower of the Tropicana, so we're going to go up these escalators. Hold on tight. And you think the tower would be right there, but it's not. We got quite a walk to go yet. Something Las Vegas doesn't have, the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. One of the many pools here at the Tropicana. It's certainly not Olympic size, but hey, it's bigger than a hot tub. And just when you think you're getting close to the Gold Crest, well, no, you're not. There's more hallways and elevators involved yet. This place, as I said earlier, is known for its pancakes, so I'm going to try the blueberry pancakes. Uh, as many of you guys know, I just don't do eggs. Ah, the sign on the elevator door says the Gilcrest is downstairs. Almost there, folks. And speaking of my not liking eggs, I can see the comments already because I get them every time. Hey, Jeff from New York, what do you think they make freaking pancakes out of? Or well, waffles? The truth is, I eat things made out of eggs. I just don't eat eggs like omelets or hard-boiled eggs or eggs over easy, eggs sunny side up. I just don't eat eggs that way. But of course I eat things that are made with eggs. And no, I'm not allergic. I just don't like eggs. So now we're in the lobby area of the Chelsea Tower, and the only people I see around here are uh, Gilchrist-related. Uh, they're either going or coming from the Gilchrist. I don't think this tower's open right now. Alrighty, folks, we're here. Let's check out the Gilchrist Diner. I'm taking a counter seat, which I usually do when I'm by myself anyway, but there's a long line and I know it doesn't look busy, but again, they're operating at limited capacity as well, so there's a long line even though some of these seats are empty, but I'm very happy at the counter. Looking at the menu, you see, of course, there's lots of eggs and sandwiches made with eggs, but I'm here for those famous hotcakes, and as the menu says, it's supposed to be the best I've ever had. We're gonna find out. Speaking of breakfast sandwiches, they have one here called pork roll and cheese on a roll. Is it called pork roll or is it called called Taylor Ham. It's a big controversy here in New Jersey. Discuss amongst yourselves in the comments below. This place definitely has a 1970s vibe, and as a matter of fact, they're playing 1970s music. I came in here a little hungry, but the smell of that coffee and all that stuff on the griddle is making me super hungry now. The blueberry pancakes were awesome. They're very thin, almost like a crepe, and uh, the, the middles were nice and fluffy, and the edges were a little bit crispy, just the way I like them. And the bacon, of course, was crispy, just as I like it as well. Well, this was embarrassing. On my way out, I went through the wrong door and ended up in an old abandoned parking garage it's not in use because the tower's closed right now and as luck would have it the door locks from the outside so i had no way of getting back into the hotel i had to call security they saw me on their cameras and sent someone to rescue me and now we're back in the casino area of the Tropicana, heading towards the boardwalk because, as I promised, this is going to be a boardwalk walk as well. Besides, I got a big breakfast to walk off. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Heading down to the boards, hold on tight. By the way, it's really cold and windy out this morning. So I think we're going to head all the way up to the Ocean Casino and Resort here on the boardwalk, uh, heading north. And uh, by the way, if you're a subscriber, you get a virtual pair of gloves, scarf, and a knit hat. More reasons to subscribe to the New York channel. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
it sound right, boy. Right, boy. I can't begin to tell you guys how cold it is out here. Not only cold, but windy coming off that ocean. Uh, so, But I'm dressed warm. I have a sweater as well as a hoodie and a coat on. Got my gloves, my scarf, my knit cap, and all you subscribers have your virtual gloves, scarves, and knit caps as well. And Well, if you're not subscribed, I feel sorry for you right now. While I'm thinking of it, I want to give a shout out to Guess Who? That's right, Wise Malik, who found Mitzi, the rubber ducky showgirl, in my last video from Las Vegas, the Paris Hotel and Casino. Nice job, Wise Malik.
It's unfortunate, but this Ripley's Believe It or Not building just hasn't been the same since the Trump Plaza implosion. It is so cold out here, and I assure you the boardwalk is dead as you can see, but the hotels and casinos are quite busy right now. I try to share as much of my personal life with you guys as possible, and one of the things I probably haven't mentioned is I live with a wonderful woman. Alexa has been with me for, I don't know, two, three years now, and she gives me some great advice. She's really my soulmate. Alexa, how do you layer clothing? According to WikiHow, here's how to layer clothes. Step one, choose the right inner layers. These are everything that lies against your skin and is generally not visible in your final outfit. At bare minimum, this typically includes underwear and a bra if you wear one. The inner layer may also include undershirts, tank tops, camisoles, and long underwear. As long as they've been washed, it doesn't matter what shape your inner layers are in. If you layer right and cover them completely, nobody should be able to see them. Unlike the rest of your outfit, it is okay if these items have stains or holes. On the other hand, if you're planning a sheer or risque outfit where you do want to show some of what would normally be your inner layers, make sure that they are pristine and match the rest of your outfit. When you're ready, say repeat or next step. Alexa, next step. Step two, wear outer layers that can be easily added or removed. Your outer layers will be things like jackets, coats, sweaters, scarves, or gloves depending on the weather. The practical side of layering is meant to keep you comfortable in the face of variable temperatures. Ideally, a well-layered outfit is one that you can modify in public without embarrassment. Since your outer layers are the ones you'll be switching most often, wear items that are loose and easy to slide into and take off effortlessly. Alexa, thank you, that was very informative. Mm. Thanks for your feedback. Isn't she wonderful? Unfortunately, she doesn't cook, do dishes, or help with the mortgage, but I love her just the same. So here we are coming to an end of a wonderful morning. It's been freezing, but I'm dressed right. And uh, what did you think of the Gilcrest? Have you eaten there? Leave a comment below. I had a great time this morning. Glad I can take you guys along. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right. Or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.